Hi there everybody, this is the Quantum Gaming Uploads. This is a video request. What I wanted to show you in this uh, video is uh, the options or the settings, what setting I use for my sim. Because uh, many people have asked, uh, how come your sim runs uh, so smoothly? Okay, so I'm going to show you every options or every adjustment in my settings. But the first thing you make sure that you do is uh, install the beta, the new beta for the sim update 10. We installed that because everything runs smoother with the, with the new beta. So make sure you have that. So we're going to go to general options. And I'm going to show you the settings for that. So HDR, I'll leave that off. Uh, the reason for that is uh, because of the sim update beta, sim update 10 beta, there's a problem with the HDR brightness. So when you record something on your screen, on your TV screen, it's gonna behave funny. The lighting on it is gonna just ruin your videos. So for that reason, for now, I have turned that off. Cameras, I leave this at the default. I don't touch that. Sound, same for the sound. Uh, traffic. Traffic, I put uh, AI offline. I don't want to see online players when I'm recording a video or things like that. That's for the reason I do it. For you, it may be different, but that's why I do it. And I put that to... 100. I can I can take it to I guess 80 and leave it there to 80 doesn't matter. Uh, traffic name plates. Sometimes I turn that on. Sometimes I turn that off. Well, you can do. You can turn it off or on. Doesn't matter. That's according to what you prefer. Airport life. Airport uh, vehicle density. I leave it to 25, 20. Same for that 25. So it doesn't uh, be too much for the sim. Road vehicles. I turn that off. Ships and ferries. You can put it 100. I'm going to adjust it to 80, doesn't matter, put it to 75, it's not going to be a big deal. That I've got it turned off. Uh, now, data. This is very important in the sim. This is everything to do with your DLC, all this data here, uh, when you fly online as well. So online functionality, I turn that on, being data on, everything is on when it comes to this live weather, multiplayer, I keep that on. Now, the current uh, data consumption, as you can see, this uh, it takes the sim, takes quite a lot of data. As you can see, it's taken so far 59.64 gigabytes. That's a lot. I leave mine to 16 gigabyte. But you can change that. Uh, bandwidth, because my connection is like uh, 75 megabytes per second. You can either do it unlimited, but I do it at 40. Just in case something happens. Now the rolling cash. This is very important. But you must uh, delete this once in a while. Now this one here, the rolling cash limit, 16 gig, shows this one here. It says 16 gigabyte. Uh, yeah, you must uh, delete this once in a while if you encounter any problems. I can do it now, doesn't matter. I can do it like uh, delete it. That's gonna update it. You can uh, then turn it off, save, turn it on, save, and that's gonna rebuild the rolling cache. Yep, that's your build itself. And this one, you can change it to 32 if you want to. You can apply save there.
Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna leave that there. So that's for that. Uh, let's go to flight model. So that's a uh, modern. You should keep it to this. There's another version there. Let me show you. Legacy. I don't usually do that. That's uh, I had lots of problems with that in the past. I don't do that. I leave it to modern. Now miscellaneous. You know all this. I leave this at default. Doesn't matter. These are the pilot avatar, co-pilot avatar and all that. Accessibility. I don't use this. I just leave it as it is. But yeah, that's it for this part. So let's go to uh, assistance. Now this is important as well. Aircraft systems. Left them uh, at a mixture on. I leave that on alone. Unless you want to do a proper cold start on your planes. You can uh, turn all this off. I leave that there. Failure and damage. Leave it disabled. I think that's uh, default as well. So notification aid. The other ones I turn them all off. Just the route and waypoints I turn them on. on. The rest is all off. And the smart cam mode is auto. Notification. I turn them all off. I don't need those. Uh, piloting. As a rider, assist the yoke is off. Checklist is on. As I do quick flights. Radio communication is on. Anti stall protection, auto trim. Assisted control sensitivity, that's on. Only the assisted yoke, that's off. Assisted landing is off. And assisted takeoff is off. I don't want no help with that. Point of interest. I turn this all off apart from uh, airport markers. I don't need the city and all of that. Uh, user experience. Let's go to that as well. Now this is for the voices. I usually turn this off. I don't like to hear whatever the tower's got to say. I just do my flights and that's it. Get out of there. I don't need them all on so I turn them all off. So G effect. I turn it off. I don't need that. G suit on. And the other stuff is on. So yeah that's it for assistant options but the main part in this uh, section was the general options that's what everything is on the sim another thing I wanted to talk to you about uh, is your TV now as a friend of mine here on YouTube I mentioned yesterday depending on what TV you got as well that makes a big difference now I've tried my Xbox on a friend of mine's uh, OLED it's got like a 55 inch the difference is uh, massive. You need that 120 hertz for your Xbox. You definitely need it. It makes it so much different. When I played on this uh, television, th everything looks so so much nicer, smooth, and uh, was great compared to my TV. And that uh, when you record videos on your Xbox from that, it's gonna make a difference as well. Because your TV is uh, as important as the other things. That everything needs to match for your sim to be perfect. Everything from your internet. Don't forget your internet. Internet is important if you want to fly online. Uh, I've got 75 megabytes per second. Probably I would say minimum. I would say 50. You would need. If it's higher. If it's 1 gigabyte. 200 gigabyte. 1 terabyte or 200 gigabytes. It's going to be like a fantastic. So that's important as well, your TV. And as well, how many DLC you install on your sim. Don't install everything at once and keep uh, keep your sim like full, full of DLC. You don't need that. You don't need all those airports. You don't need all those airplanes you don't use. You don't need them in the sim. Just uh, uninstall them and keep them on the side. Whenever you want to use them, install them back again and try it. And see how it goes. But don't, don't install everything on the sim. Because it, it's just too much. It can be too much sometimes. Everything is connected. So make sure. If you want to have a great experience with a sim on your Xbox. Make sure you invest in a new TV. Get an OLED. That's important. Get your better internet. Of course. Don't, don't forget. Not neglect your internet. Your internet is super important. And your DLC. I'm going to show you my DLC. Content manager. I've got quite a few in there. I've got uh, not installed. 132, I don't need those. Install 107. So I've got more uninstalled than installed. And the reason for that is for what I mentioned to you before. That's the reason. I could have installed all this stuff. 
But no, for a better experience, you need that. And make sure you get the, the beta as well. You need the beta for the sim to work uh, much better at the moment. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. The one and only, Quantum Gaming Uploads. Take care, all the best. Thanks for watching. Thank you.